Before we start this episode, I just want to let you guys know that currently, as you guys are watching this, we are on a flight to Utah to go film a couple of locations. So instead of taking a week off of posting, we actually had something in mind. As some of you know, we used to do family investigations, and one of the episodes we unfortunately had to take down due to legal reasons. But what we do know is three-fourths of you guys have not seen that episode, and we got the okay to go ahead and use this episode once again. We as a group had talked about how incredible this episode actually was, so we are going to be posting it this next Sunday at 10, 10 a.m. for you guys to watch. Who knows, maybe this will get us back into the family investigations. And if that's the case, please leave a comment down below and let us know if that's what you want from us. Hope you guys do enjoy this Skinwalker episode. This is a really timely story, and maybe the spookiest place in the country or even the world. Skinwalkers take the shape of anything and that thing has not ran off yet, dude. There's a light. Yep, 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 yep. Fifteen generations, indigenous tribes, including the Utes, have referred to this sandstone ridge as being in the path of the skin. Residents water. there say they've heard unusual animal sounds at night, and several ATV riders say they've seen unusual looking creatures in the distance. <laughs> this is so crazy! We're literally hunting for skinwalkers. Skinwalker, a malevolent spirit, a shapeshifter. It easily ranks as the most intensely studied paranormal hotspot in history. You saw it? Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you okay? Dude. Are you okay? No, right. dude, that came from above. That came from right above. It threw something down. I'm not kidding you guys. Okay. This is not the first time there have been reports of an unusual creature in the woods. In fact, about a decade ago, it brought a lot of equipment trying to get a picture something strange there's some knocking going on we hear some screeches they're not dogs they're not coyotes what could it be right guys we're literally getting hunted down by a skinwalker right now why well, you might have to explain more because you're the one who read all the f lore about this place the skinwalkers are supposed to their whole goal is revenge on the living because they became what they are out of their choices in life and now they're stuck that way yeah. so they prey on people purely for the fun of it when it comes to the animal thing when you see these animals and things like that if you look at them at the right time their facade kind of goes away and either their physical appearance will change or their eyes glow orange like a burnt orange and they'll either speak or change if you notice them. Apparently mentally they can tell that you know what they are. I read somewhere someone's story, the only way to kill it is to know its name. We are about to do something that we really didn't think we were gonna do, and that is hunting for skinwalkers. Once again, we find ourselves out in the middle of the desert, right next to a Native American reservation, in some f***ed up caves, looking for monsters. just some up caves, but this apparently is called Skinwalker Valley. The reason why we are doing this investigation is because we were getting all types of text messages all about this specific location that apparently holds such a huge mystery on why there's so much paranormal activity going on just in the desert. The reason why this land holds so much paranormal activity is because centuries ago, there were Native Americans who had lived in each one of these caves. Throughout their entire history and their culture, they tell stories of something called the Yinaud Lushi, as we call it, a skinwalker. They won't even mention that name at all in general. You try to ask any of them about it, you're not going to get any answers. They're not going to talk to Several you. Several ATV riders say they've seen unusual looking creatures in the distance. Few people who are trying to figure out what is in the forest. This thing just keeps morphing and changing into, you know, new shapes and forms. Things we're doing now, we're on camera, sometimes in front of the camera, but you wouldn't see them. Despite the stories of skinwalkers, this place almost has like a lost history. There's been a lot of deaths here. Not only the Native Americans back then using it as a burial ground, they did pull two mummies out of here, but there are people that literally go missing and die out here in the desert all the time. We 
a bizarre animal mutilation case. A rancher found one of his cattle dead, reproductive organs removed, and no signs pointing to a suspect. They have also said that they have found some of their cattle missing, and even a couple of people have noticed that some of their cows have been unfortunately ripped into pieces. It's super mysterious because people have proved that here in Nevada, coyotes cannot physically do such brutality, just like what's been going on. When the farmer arrived here Thursday morning, the gate was still locked and there were no footprints or tire tracks leading to the dead cow. It's somewhat amazing because of the lack of evidence. His six-year-old cow mutilated, its udder and reproductive organ removed. Now the reason we think there are multiple skinwalkers here is not only because of the stories that we've been told and the people that we've spoken to, but when you really look into what goes on there on a daily basis, honestly, it's like unexplainable. Something strange is going on out there in the middle of the desert with no reason or rhyme behind it. Random people will just get terrorized like Ryan was talking about with their livestock and whatnot. People will just be riding or adventuring out there through the caves only to see weird, mysterious creatures that will chase them out of there. I feel like that deer is following us. I can hear it. There's a light back there. Yep, 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 yep. And there is even a man that had one eyewitness story that we spoke to that's absolutely insane. Okay, so after a lot of convincing, we've been trying to see if we can, one, first meet this guy at the location, and he said he's never gonna go there ever again. Then we started to try to see if he would talk to us on the phone. He kept saying no, he kept saying no, and then, Finally, he said he was gonna give us a call and kind of explain his story. So let's kind of see if he can direct us in the right area because that's the goal, you know, to try and find out where this whole occurrence happened. So now we just kind of wait for him to give us a call. I gave him my number and I'll have you pick up the camera as soon as he starts calling. So let's do this. Okay, go riff, 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 right here, right here. No caller ID, of course. Hello? Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, give me one sec. Um, so I just pretty much, uh, for one thing, thank you so much for giving us a call. You know, we're just sure. super interested in uh, this whole story that you had, and we're pretty much just trying to get that story from you, if that's okay. Okay. Um. Oh. That was weird. <laughs> what? That was weird. Maybe he'll call me back. Yeah, you don't have his number, huh? No, we messaged him on uh, Reddit. Shit. Maybe he'll call back. Okay. Hey. Hello. Sorry, I'm in uh, kind of a rough area. My signal might be in and out. Oh, that's totally fine. Uh, should I just start from the beginning? Yeah, yeah, if you can. Okay. Well, the whole reason I was out there to begin with was I was trying to find this box to go fishing on the day off early in the morning. Um, and as I'm going down that, that dirt road, the main road, I look to my left and I see this thing. It's really pale. It almost looks surprised once the light from my headlights hit it. It turned, looked at me and started down the road in my direction. So I kind of stopped. I'm sitting there thinking to myself, like, what is this thing? You know, I know the local wildlife. I know what should be out there. And I've never seen anything like that. But as it's coming down, I noticed it's got this strange, really long body. It walked almost on its knees or its knuckles. Oh my God. What the f You could tell at first it almost looked like uncomfortable or hurt so i'm thinking you know maybe it's like a sheep or a goat that someone had hit and it didn't realize that its legs are broken that was until i saw the neck and the head its neck was long then it had almost like a human-like jaw or a chin and that kind of is what made me realize i'm looking at something i've never seen That's so crazy. it's coming down the road and it's it's torso it's body was like so low it had to be dragging on the ground but it was wasn't moving it was like like a chicken's head you know how it doesn't move when they run oh yeah it's just kind of hovering there with its 
arms and legs crawling and it gets closer and closer. I turn on my high beams and that's when it got faster. It almost broke out into like a full sprint on its hands and it was crazy fast. Nothing should be that fast. That's crazy. So what do you think it was? Because on your, on your Reddit post, it says that you think it's like something like a skinwalker or something. I put it in that category. I posted that story in a few different threads to kind of get other people's opinion. I'm not really much one to to jump to conclusions, I guess. I still can't identify it. I've identified some animals before in the past, especially when they're malnourished or not normal, looking like they should is with their eyes but as this thing got closer it didn't have any it was just kind of like these fleshy deep sockets one more question before uh before we stop this phone call can you maybe like explain what direction we know what dirt road it was because you did get that detail in for us more or less my question is is that dirt road like where you saw it in front of that section to go to the caves where they say that that valley is called skinwalker valley is what some people are saying it is obviously that's not what it's you know national park name is yeah there's a few different roads out there they kind of all you know come together at some point but that main road, the access road that you go down, when you turn off the highway, that's how you get to the river. That's where I was at. Ah, okay. I would just advise caution if you do go out that way. We definitely will. It's just curiosity, more or less, for us. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Well, thank you so much. Maybe we can speak sometime uh, soon again. Hopefully this time no caller ID. <laughs> All right. All right. All right, bye. Oh, bye. This might be some of the best f-ing shit we have ever gotten in our lives. Dude, I'm like shaking with like excitement. How creepy was it that he called with no caller ID? Well, I mean, you got, didn't he say he didn't want like us yeah, to say his name? But I didn't think he was going to call us on a no caller ID. <laughs> you know what's even more weird, guys? This mm-hmm. post, he posted this six years ago. That's enough evidence for me, guys. I think we go, yeah. Let's do it. Let's f- get out of here. We don't know exactly where this man had witnessed this whole situation, but he was saying on the main road closest to all of those caves that we are about to, you know, set our journey to go see if we can come in contact with any skinwalkers or even spirits. But apparently that dirt road is where all of this happened to him. So there's so many pieces that we actually need to cover here on this property. I mean, it is entirely possible that the Native Americans did live there. It was a sacred place for them. For some reason, they buried someone way out there in the caves on almost like they did something bad, in my opinion, because normally they'd be buried together. Well, that was the latest discovery they're saying, Mm -hmm. because back centuries ago, when those caves were actually used for them to live in, there were people dying right and left. saying is the last episode that we did involving any skinwalker thing going to the skinwalker cave did super successful and we actually did have a lot of fun doing it now it is super dangerous and guys even the word skinwalker is supposed to be forbidden this is a big deal and what we are dealing with has proof that there have been so many skinwalker sightings that we might even actually catch something that we can use to document for our skinwalker series and we will be out there all night the more you dig into it it's really it's pretty sketchy these things are no joke all these stories and all these legends that you hear about from people across the world are all based in some sort of fact it is entirely possible that like we could be in like some serious danger to all of you guys who are watching this keep in mind we are super fresh at this whole skinwalker investigation kind of deal so with that being said i think it's time to hit the road and figure out if there is truly a skinwalker out there. Let's go find these things. You guys remember Skinwalker Cave? So we've been told all kinds of crazy shit has happened around this general area. We're out here in the middle of nowhere looking for more monsters because that's what we do with our free time.
Well, here's the thing, like, you know, usually we're doing ghost hunting and stuff and we've had some real success so far to our knowledge of doing skinwalker videos. This is going to be our third skinwalker video because this is what we're looking for. And uh, the funny thing is when we arrived two days ago to check the place out, kind of map things out, get some footage, we ran into somebody and made good friends oh, with them. Yeah. No, I I'm talking about, talking about Fern. The guy. <laughs> welcome, <laughs> welcome, welcome. Guy. <laughs> What's up, our... guys? So we're out in uh, what they call Skinwalker Valley, almost. It's uh, full of caves on the sides. Me, Fern, and uh, Twin Paranormal are gonna try and explore. I've already been on the caves during the day, but. During the night, you know what's gonna come out. Made so. a new homie, guys. You guys are gonna love him. Yeah. He's a super cool guy. He's, He's just like us. We have a good time, and it was almost meant to be. So almost. He's the only reason we actually kind of know where we're going. Yeah. <laughs> so. Literally. So we yeah. do have a couple of caves around here. We have been looking for a specific cave called Spirit Cave. Who made that ground? We have been looking for a specific cave called Spirit Cave. Who made that ground? Am I just hearing shit? Anyway, so in each one of these caves, there were bodies discovered. The lore around this land is huge with skinwalkers. This skinwalker situation here is not a joke at all. And if you were to try to ask any Native Americans around here, they will shut you down fast because this whole skinwalker situation with them is kind of a, you, you know, can't, you can't say it. You can't say the name. That's very taboo in their culture they won't they won't deal with it they won't even talk to you about it it's, i mean even your sister won't say the name even my sister won't yeah. say the name the other thing too that we've just learned recently is at nighttime another thing they won't ever do is whistle so us being our normal selves of course we're going to try it and see what happens but yeah. that's another skinwalker thing is if you whistle at night it invites their their presence closer to you so. well the crazy thing is two days ago when we were here and we met fern we were going to try to find spirit cave but we had discovered what we think may be spirit cave if it's spirit cave it's spirit cave if it's not we'll find out but while we were walking all around fern noticed that there were crows that constantly kept following us a lot of people say that skinwalkers are able to manipulate other animals to follow and basically be their eyes, be their watch. Well, so not... we're walking away, and what did we see? The guy. Right around, uh, I know you guys probably can't see, but right around the top up here in this mountain, it's a mountain to the left, mountain on the right, this little valley in the bottom that connects to this trail right there, right at Grimes Point. So it took us about 10, 20 minutes to walk all the way across at a decent pace. Next thing we know, we come all the way down after going all the way in the middle of the trail, there's a guy trekking across, and no shit, I kid you not, it took him less than 30 seconds to walk from one end to the other. He started here, made it all the way here, stopped and looked at us, came back a little bit, and then crested over where we came from. That was the span of what, like 20 seconds? And he made it that far? The 100%. thing that gets me was the no car. Where the hell was look, he parked? Look yeah. that way, Riv. Town, town is where the lights are. Yeah. Now keep in mind, there are spirits here as well. This is why everybody is saying this whole skinwalker lore is is real. Well, skinwalkers They're... themselves are said to be evil spirits of shaman. They're Native American shaman that uh, chose the, the dark path, so to speak. They're black magic and things like that. Not only that, but it's not the only spirits here. And you gotta think about all these caves have found at some point in time, they have found people here. A lot of the deaths here are ruled as homicides, even though with no proof. Yeah, so what they that's what they're thinking because of analyzing of the bones and stuff. Whatever they did find, that's what they were able to kind of rule it to. So regardless, we're going to be doing paranormal investigation, also trying our best because we're fresh at this. You guys got to understand. I think with that being said, let's hike this trail, get to the cave where the last sighting was, and go from there. Well, finally we made it to the cave. Took quite a while because we did get lost and uh, we had to kind of mark where we were on the map, but we figured it out. Well, that just goes to show too, like legitimately how dangerous it is out here. At night. We're literally in the middle of nowhere in the desert. And we well, keep we hearing did. noises. We made it. As we were walking, we've heard already so many different noises. What sounds like I could potentially be animals, but even if they're animals, the only way we're gonna find out if it's somewhat controlled, possessed by a skinwalker is if we can see the eyes. They glow a burnt orange. Yeah. Oh, and we heard what sounded like something large, like a giant boulder rolling down a hill or like, or being tossed down a hill, down one of the mountains. Weird. Let's get to this cave and see what's going on. Okay, if anybody's already noticed us walking 
down this trail or on this land. And if anybody can hear me, I just want to say the reason why we are here tonight on your land is because we are trying to document and communicate, hopefully have a conversation with whoever is here, whether it's a spirit or if any skinwalker can hear me. We are looking to have a conversation. But before we do this, I'd like to introduce all four of us. My name is Ryan. My name is Wyatt. My name is Fern. My name is River. Now if you can please come into this cave that we are in. What the f*** is that? You just f fuck. We've got these objects that you are able to use and it'll show us that you are here. Anybody else feeling f***ing weird as shit? Yeah. Mind you, not only are we in skinwalker territory, we're in a one exit, one entrance place. Oh. We're f putting ourselves in utmost danger here. Was that you, what? I'm not even gonna sh lie to you guys. That was me putting my knee down. But when I turned to the entrance of the cave, there was a glare on my screen for one second and it looked like something turning away. Oh shit. Those lights right there are town. But there was yeah. something right here that just glared for a split Give me second. A... I'm gonna start off with this object that'll detect your movement. I'm gonna demonstrate how it works if anybody can hear me. Hello? Oh my god. Do you hear that? Yeah. Hello? Did we just hear that right? Did oh you? What did you hear? Point the flashlight down. Hello? Watch your head. Wait, oh what the f god. Watch your head. Hello? I can hear it clicking down. Yeah. You wanna go to, to the left? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude. Oh my god. Sending it. Hello! I heard it, dude. I swear. It scared me so bad. I'm gonna go ahead and whistle. Let's see what happens, okay? Yeah. <whistles> Guys, that was not an echo, too. No. That was right. a completely different tone. We might as well go ahead and explain how this device works. Whoever wants to know. When I turn it on, it's going to calibrate. After that, I'm going to explain. From there on, it has nothing to do with us. We're going to stay behind it. Okay, so this object right here will detect your movement. All you need to do is walk in front of it, just like this. That'll let us know that you are here. Feel free, we're going to back up. Anybody who can hear. Is already going off? Whatever is here, it's close. Not only, did we, not only did we hear it speak back, it's already set off the... Holy f guys. I just got that. Mind you guys, there's nothing in front of that. No. <laughs> what the f***, dude? God, guys. What the f*** is going on? Come over to this cave! What the f*** is going on with that music box, dude? We had luck with it last night, but after that, it's been quite a while since it's even gone off. Something is like on it, man. I was just trying to look up the native tongue. This it's is really going off now. The native tongue for Skinwalker? Look, I have zero service. You, oh, f we have zero service. Why is this now going off way more than it was just now? It's getting closer. It spoke to us. I'm gonna reset it, just in case. Just to be sure. Calibration? Nothing. You have the razor line? Now it's just going off even worse. Ryan. Yeah. Faster, faster, faster. The native tongue for a skinwalker? Is the Yi Naud Lushi. Where are you? Somebody's walking. That's footsteps. Dude, somebody's walking. That's like pretty clear. <laughs> it's almost like somebody's pacing back and forth, super close by. They're waiting for something. That's what they do.
That you're it, guys. Evil. That was not me. That was not I'm, evil. I'm not moving my feet. No. I'm telling you, I hear pops and they're yeah. right above us. It's when we came down the trail because we came down into this from the right. Right above it, this. yeah. Yeah, there was no That's one there. The pops. I'm going to go ahead and mount this camera. This is somebody's home. It is, yeah. Swear to God, if that thing goes off, guys, there's no power whatsoever in here. We're about to find out. Okay, I have this other object here that I'm setting down. If you can come close, just like what you were doing with this motion object that I had over here, if you can touch this metal rod right here, this antenna, it'll start to glow and make noise just like that. We're going to move away. If there are spirits here who can understand what we're saying, this is the time to prove that you can hear us. What do you guys say we go deeper? Just right over here? Yeah, just kind let's of give them space. Here. Our car's not dragging. No, it was like a whistle or screaming. You hear that? Are you kidding me? No. That was someone yeah. screaming, dude. You hear that? Are you f***ing kidding me? No. That was someone no. screaming, dude. Are you f***ing kidding me? going right now. This is also your footsteps. <gasps> no f***ing way, dude. How is that even possible? The camera's not even producing Otherwise, it would start going off regardless. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call for them. No, no, what no, is no. that? It's constant whining. It's just like the stories you heard of the liberation trail. They scream, they scream for help. That's what they're doing. Dude, these are skinwalkers. I think we just caught that. My mic is right there, you too. Oh, you on. heard that whole thing, right? Wait. Whistle first and then be quiet and then call. Why did that REM pod go off? Right? <laughs> Dude! That was uh, not because you were close, right? Apparently not. No. I'm gonna come back in. I don't feel safe out here, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Is this the skinwalker? God. We know what you are. We also know why you're here. It's yelling again. Gotta turn this off. Turn it off. Show us that you're here. I know you know. Wow. Someone's ahead of it. Dude. Somebody's right there. There is not a reason on this that planet that why that go would go off. I moved my camera too. It's all the way over here in my hand. Yo, this is wild. He's here. Right in front. Are you right here in front of us? What the f holy f shit? Holy shit! If you understand me, can you hold on to that? Grab it. Oh my god! Oh my god, dude! What the f How are you able to understand what we're saying? Are you one of the newer spirits here? Hold on to it, yes. I'm going to ask you a question. 
Okay, I'm gonna see a year and I'm gonna ask you to hold it. Okay, I'm gonna turn my flashlight off. I trust you. Fifty. A hundred. One hundred and fifty. Two hundred. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Holy f dude, this scares the shit out of me. Yeah, this is actually really f scary as shit. If you know English, grab that. If you understand what we're saying. How? How? This is incredible. How? Holy f shit, guys. Does anybody have any f logical meaning and reason for this? 200 years ago would have been 1800. There were still natives kicking. Yes. You think they knew English? Our language was oh, yeah. Thing. Yes, of course. Oh, yeah. 200 years ago, for sure. Were you brought here? Hold on to it if you were brought here. Dude, they are wait, literally wait. Fast. I swear I heard someone talk. Did you want to be here? I just hear a voice say, no. Joe, did I just hear a voice say, no. I heard one earlier. Were you brought here against force? How about was this once your home? If you could please just answer us, we're just trying to find out what's going on. Is somebody walking? Someone's here. Safe back here. I'm sorry, guys, but you guys are, uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Long story short. I might try something. Back in the day, the natives that didn't really speak English, you'd hold your hand up. It was like a sign of acknowledgement and respect, right? Okay. Can you see me? Can you hold that? Hold on to no. We just want to know your story. Did you see that river? What? You didn't see that? No, watch your head. Watch your head. What? In your light. Right over the crest of the bottom right here. That's lit up. Peaking? There was an eye. It was reflective. I, I need batteries. Dude. I'm not even shitting you. Batteries are in that backpack oh, right there. Oh, me. Watch your head. Did we just see eyes? Is there somebody spying on us? Make that object buzz, please. You're able to produce enough power, we can tell. We know you're strong. Wyatt saw you. What was that noise? Dude, it just sounds like someone yelling out Yeah. Loud. It sounds like yeah. far as shit. Is this the Native Americans? Can you hear me? What the f How is this going on? Did you hear that? Oh my god. Where was that? Behind you. Down. Wait, car? Is that a car? Why is there a car? Huh? Who is that? They're turning into us. He saw us and dipped. He pulls in here just to hightail it out. There's no reason that should be going off. No. This is not a normal night, guys. Uh uh. Definitely isn't, man. It's not. I'm gonna try the flashlight method. Okay, if there is anybody out there, or maybe even somebody in here with me, I've got this object here. And if you can understand, what I'd like for you to do is please complete the circuit to turn this on. I'm gonna go ahead and set it right here, and I'm gonna sit down alone in this cave while the guys are out there. What the f is that? Do you see that river? What see what? The f is that?
There's the brightest orb thing that just came floating up right above you guys. There is anybody in here with me, please. Complete that circuit to show me that you are here. Please. I'm far away from it. Use your energy. If somebody understands me, please turn that... <gasps> oh my f***ing god! Is it on? On! I've literally been sitting here. It's been off. Can you turn that off? Make the light disappear. Thank you! Guys, come in here. Watch. I'm going to let these guys, if it's okay, they're going to come in and hang out so that we can speak with you. Just find a spot. Sit down near me if you can. And just uh, watch the wall. Okay, these guys are sitting down here. Can you please show them what you just did? If that's okay. We don't mean any harm towards anybody here. Thank you. Oh my god, Fuck, man. Thank you so much. I shouldn't escape. Fuck. That's amazing. Now, can you turn it off for us again? Please. Yo. Please turn it off. Thank you. Oh, this is insane, bro. Somebody understands what we're saying, which is very confusing. It's odd. What if, what if uh, 200 years ago, some sort of body that spoke English, somebody, had gotten dragged over here by... It's... Hold on. That's touching. That's fully oh touching. God. Please, let go. What the f is going on? Guys, if we didn't find a skinwalker today... <gasps> Why'd that just light up when you said skinwalker? Is it here? Are you here? Tell us! Show yourself! Did you go away because he came close? If we didn't find him, we found something else. We found somebody here. This is not only proof that this is not only native land, but there's people here, like I explained earlier. Ruled as homicides. People that have died here over hundreds of years. People that we might not even know of. They're here. Whoa, did you just see that? I did. Coming in here. I got a question, if you can understand us. Are people scared of what's called a skinwalker here on this land? Will you turn that on? If that is true... Is there a skinwalker here? What the f was that? Was that a growl? It's a groan. It's the same thing we heard when we were walking up here. Please, don't be afraid of the other guy who just came in here. No f way. Yeah. Now you're yelling, guys. I do too. Are you trying to keep us safe? Will he stay away if you're here? Oh. Guys, we need to get the f out of here. He's gonna stay away if they're here. You guys wanna go to the next cave down? We could, Should yeah. We? It's a lot shallower there, it would be a lot safer. Yeah. We're gonna make our way down to the cave, a little bit further down the hill. Can you please follow us down there? Let's go all night and see if we can do a couple more things. I got a couple more devices that I'd like to try out, so let's go all night. Did anybody follow us? So the cave that we were just at was right up this hill. Down here is also where they had discovered a couple of bodies. We're just trying to see if somebody would like to speak with us. Use your energy. Please give us a sign. I've got this object here that you can use your words. If you understand what I'm saying, you want to say anything, one word, or a whole sentence. <gasps> did you just hear that? I did. What did you hear? There was two barks. Like a dog. What the f*** is about skinwalkers, yo? Black dog. Dog dog. Dog man. Where are you? What the f***? Skinwalker! He and barking all night.
tell just that. Guys, this device just said hiding. Hiding. It just said hiding. Look. Well, why can't you come out? What is it that you want? Why are you still here on this land? Come out from hiding, please. Guys, there's more eye shine at the top to the right where we just came from. Are you up there? That's no star. My camera won't pick up stars. What's your name? Adam. Oh my what fucking the I turned the light on. How? That was so fast. That could have just been a coincidence, but holy f That was no coincidence. Not, not that fast. No. No. Uh... Can you hear us? You just caught that? Please tell me you I caught just, that. I caught it. Somebody did. I caught I caught a noise. Do you have audio on yours? You have yeah. audio on yours. Yep. I have audio on mine, yeah. Are you near? Likely. Oh. What was that? On the ridge? Is that you up there hiding? Do you plan on harming us? Can you answer that, please? Maybe. Maybe? Oh my god, dude. Maybe harming us. What? What does that mean? Why is it that you have to hide? We're out here trying to document some stuff. So if anybody knows anything about this creature that is known to run around here, can you maybe come and give us some information? Please? If you can understand us? We will touch you. <gasps> oh my god. I... We, plural. So there's multiple. We know you're out there. We know you can hear us and you know what I'm saying. Is this where you live? People have seen you before. Would you help? Would you help? What do they do to people? They cry for help. They do. Wait, let's play it. Let's play it, boys. We're gonna play into it. What do you need help with? It's just creepy. I heard a knock up here, up hill. Upstairs, do you hear it? Yeah. It's a bubble. Upstairs, do you hear it? Yeah. It's above us. Is that above us? I told you there's a path. They can come down yes. right above us. Oh! 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 oh my god! Do you need help? Is that above us? Yes. Holy oh shit. my god! Are you lost? Where are you? Make a noise, Guys. we can help. Guys. Can you scream? Can you yell? There's a man. I trust you. <gasps> I don't. There's a man talking up here. River, was that you? What? Did you whisper? No. River, was that you? What? Did you whisper? No. What? That was right there, in that little cove. What was? A whisper. I heard someone talking up here. I heard a couple steps, and I hear a whisper. Where are you? I'm just trying to get information. I keep saying this, but this is why we're here. We're not here to harm anyone. And you cannot harm us. Escape. Escape us? Dude, I... <gasps> Wait a minute, what did Fern say earlier? He asked them to warn us. <gasps> I'm telling you, I, I'm pretty fearless, but I'm scared. I, I don't know what to say, I, I'm Kill. speechless. Kill! Kill! No Kill. 
Let's wait, get out. Let's get out. Bro, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, guys. Let's do this nice and easy. No panicking. What are we escaping from? What is it? Just breathe. You're fine. What's up? Go left. Shine your light left. Right there. Close. There close! Was, there was two eyeballs right there when close. you your light. Close! It just said close! Maybe Fern is right. Maybe we could kind of start making our way back down. There, Please again. Work. You saw it? Oh, 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 oh. Are you okay? Dude. Are you okay? Someone answered. Someone dude, answered. throw it out. Let's go, let's go, someone let's go. Answered. Uh, wait, wait, hang on. Grab hang it, on. grab it. Hang on. Wait, no, wait. dude, that came from above. That came from right above. I'm not kidding you. Dude, my heart's racing, guys. That's okay. Huh? Guys, my we heart is racing. Any of our shit. Calm, calm. Calm. Okay, I'll, I'll get the tripod. Keep your strength. Be calm. You know more than I do. I, I'm back here. What just happened? It threw it down. It threw it straight down. Through what? A rock. Well, what's, okay, we need to pack that. What's coming? Someone's, Someone's coming. coming! Let's go, let's go. Let's no f way. Look at my hand. I'm shaking so bad. I don't know if you can see. I oh, can. look at the microphone. I can. I, can I am see. shaking so f bad, dude. That I've I've never experienced anything this f scary. No bullshit. The skinwalker lore. Supposedly, they try to trick you until you know. Yeah. Participate. Participate? Wyatt, you were literally just f talking about this. Wyatt, uh... We're participating. Fast. fast. That's what we don't want. We don't want to participate well, with them. We are playing it. Oh my f god, what is that? I just saw Wait, that. I you saw, saw, you saw the eyes? There. Straight. I saw something out there moving like an animal. I, I saw told you, straight down. I oh, saw it. We gotta go do I that. don't know if I'm gonna be asleep tonight. Them. Them. them, them. Let's go to the car. Let's contemplate on what the f the next plan is because what we're getting is some really good evidence, but right now I think I need a f little breather. I need to go sit at the car, feel a little bit more safe. We're making our way out here. Bitch. What are we supposed to be worried of? Huh? Did you just see that? No. What? Fall. Don't play into it. He said fall. Don't play into it. Keep going. Keep going. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> What's going on? I don't think I caught that, dude. It's Guys, way too far. we're literally far. getting hunted down by a skinwalker right now. This is intense, and it's not just one skinwalker. It's multiple skinwalkers we, will hurt you. we may have done the wrong thing <laughs> guys oh my god i'm literally my heart is pumping so hard my adrenaline is like at its max peak i don't think we've really left a location like that since we first started this is intense what we just dealt with was real and we knew somebody was following us we knew some type of creature that wanted to hurt us they told us this is going to happen i think we might have just got out Right in the nick of time. Disagree. I disagree. So this is still possibly gonna happen. This is by far one of our weirdest experiences yet. Something's going on. Something's different. Something doesn't feel right. Hello! Oh my god. I don't think I'll ever feel safe hiking here again. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever. We just ruined his whole experience. Here. Yeah. We literally show up, comes over, and he's like, You guys want to twist a tea? I'm like, Sure. And I'm like, Do you know uh, there's skinwalkers here? <laughs> literally. Oh, oh, thanks, guys. Yeah. I really want to go through all the footage and see if we captured what we've been seeing. Eyes. This is at least two hours of trust footage. Me. No. I no. Trust, I trust you. Trust me. That's what they want. They try to lure you in. Guys, Fern is about to leave. What we experienced was pretty intense. We're gonna stay behind because there is a story that Wyatt was telling us and we just went to Skinwalker Valley. We did Skinwalker Valley. Hope you guys do not get upset at the fact that we needed to leave. When you feel like you're in danger, then that's kind of the time that you have to call it. We're gonna try and continue though. There is a story that Wyatt was saying that there was a man who had seen what he thought was a skinwalker because the guy works with animals. He knows what animals look like. Now, Fern, brother, we made good friendship. Too. Yeah, good nice friend. to meet you guys. So. Thanks for coming with us. Yeah. Guys, we just met the guy here, literally in this specific spot. Yeah, you gotta give him some props. <laughs> he decided to come out here and see for himself what we could find. Guys, can you please do me a favor? Show a bunch of love. You guys are super big. You're, our family is amazing. 
show this man some love. His Instagram <laughs> is going to be down in the description. So please give him a follow. And if you guys want to see him in another video, whether it's ghost hunting or looking for more skinwalker activity, get this video to 20,000 likes. We believe you guys can definitely do this. You guys show love. This is not from a person that did not know them a week ago. This is not easy stuff. We, not only from the hiking, the experiences, what we hear, that was uh, insane, I believe. I do now. Sick. Go get gonna, some rest, man. Yeah. We're, we're going to finish up the night. We're just going to focus on this road here. I don't yeah. know if I trust going up there. I thought I left a device up there, and I was about to just go walk it. Unless if you guys get this to 50,000 likes, <laughs> we'll, we'll stay the night in one of the caves. If you guys get this to 50,000. No, seriously, I'm dead serious. If you get this to 50,000 likes, we're going to stay in one of the caves. I love how Ryan says this and doesn't even say a word to us. Like, <laughs> you know, oh. We did not give you consent to, to have us stay there. <laughs> I'm not doing it alone. <laughs> you guys won't let me do it alone. Okay, let's do this. All right, yeah. Team. Great um, meeting everybody. Yeah. Nice meeting you too, I'll man. see you guys next time. So, peace out. Okay, I think uh, we might have officially scared the shit out of somebody. Guys, Fern is actually a really dope ass dude. That was crazy. Let's get back to it, see what we can do. literally native land with burials all over the place this is insane dude <laughs> this is so crazy we are literally hunting for skinwalkers for driving and I'm on top of a car the things that we do to try and collect evidence for any type of paranormal activity is just incredible I love this. It's scary, but nobody else is doing it. Just us. So supposedly, the man was driving and he saw what looked like something odd on the side of the road and it was running towards him. So this is what our plan is, to kind of try and map and do the same thing that he was doing, because it was approximately the same time that we are doing this right now as when he was driving as well. Did I mention I'm on top of the car? <laughs> I should be able to see something more purple, I think. Right now I see lots of orange and yellow. And I have not really seen any, no creatures on this yet. Nothing. It'll leave what looks like a trace mark. Right now we're about to arrive towards the petroglyphs where there is some type of activity as well. Not much, because these petroglyphs were actually moved. These aren't the original areas where they were. Whoa! Did you feel that temperature change? The heat, yeah. Oh my go. God, here we you are. You have to go. That's what I just got, you got to go. No way? Yes. Dude, that's not a good sign. That's not a good sign at all. The device just said we have to leave. Something's warning us. Well, what do you guys think? Should we listen to whoever's telling us, who's warning us? Said you gotta go. This is another attempt to try and contact, find out if we could get a hold of any skinwalkers, and I think we might be getting... Did you just hear that? Yeah. Get in the car, get in the car, get the f in the car. What'd Something you was moving through the bushes. Something's moving through the bushes. Watch, Watch it. it! Guys, something was just moving in the f bushes. Lock the doors right now. Our batteries are dying. We've been here for quite a while. Guys, hope you guys did enjoy this episode. I'm walking around. I told you! I told you! Are you I told God, you! Dude. Let's get the out of here, guys. Please, like this video. 50,000 likes. You guys know. We will see you next week. Peace. <laughs> this is crazy! I've been in your world.